Yeah, there are. Like this switch. That I kind of need to press down. Press. So that drains the water for a little while. And here's a key trick. You have to duck down, or like, it won't work. It'll just totally knock you off. Um, come on, turn around. Good boy. Sweet. Um, so yeah. Stand next to this block and grab hold of it with A. Ugh, Navi. Oh my gosh. This is just like common sense. I'm not even over there anymore. Should have like already done that. So let's move this block. Alright, sweet. Got the block. Oh, in this one you actually have to climb it. Like, I've been playing more previous versions of Zelda than this before. So, like, they auto-corrected, like, all this stuff in this one. So, like, you don't always have to jump and stuff like that. It's actually kind of interesting. Like, in this game, they chose to make it so that there's no jump button. I don't know if they didn't have room for it, or just like, because they wanted it to actually be like a puzzle or something, but there's no jump in this game. And hitting the start screen is pretty annoying, so uh, I'm going to actually like start doing this so uh, I can just save some time. Ah. All right. Don't break on me, don't break on me. Saved. Well, coop. Killer. Look at Link getting that speed. So there's the exit, there's fire, and a bomb thing's right there. I don't know. We get bombs later, apparently, so. Apparently you're supposed to, like, come back. Nobody ever comes back to dungeons, though. You just want to play through the game. Alright. And, um, like, when I do a Let's Play of, like, the other games, you'll see how, like, each of, each of the other games are, like, incorporated into this game. Hey, you know what? Like, you're supposed to do the fire, like, by pushing this block down, and then you can get, like, the other thing over there, but I wonder if you can, like... Climb this, and then get out a stick, and then be like, no, because he drops the stick down. That's kind of stupid. I was going to feel like a pro for a second. And, uh... Come on. Alright. 
So now that we've taken out our little, all of our little buddies. Oh, that's what you're supposed to do. I bet you have to jump on this. I bet you can do it by like. Got it. All right, so cool. So I'm just gonna chill here with my little free bird thing. And what you do here is you roll. And it actually allows you to drop down. So cool. Anybody remember that order? Because I definitely don't. But I've played this game so many times that it doesn't even matter. I guess you have to like. All right, there we go. Cool. Two. Cool. Have fun. All right. How did you know our secret? How irritating. It's so annoying that I'm going to reveal the secret of Queen Goma to you. In order to administer the coup de gras to Queen Goma, strike with your sword while she's stunned. So, how do we stun her? Oh, Queenie, sorry about that. Oh yeah, I gotta fill up on hearts. BT dub. Alright, so let's grab that. And... I think we can just swim over. Yeah, there we go. So, here we go. And now, this is our first boss fight. And if you can't already tell, there was something on the ceiling. But, uh, I, I think I have to look at it for the boss fight to actually start. So, yeah. There we go. Division sign. Parasitic armored arachnid. Goma. Alright, so... Ah! Yeah, and the key to these games is like... You always use the weapon that you got to defeat the boss. It's not like you don't ever use that weapon again. I just forgot what I was supposed to do for a second. So now he's gonna, or she, or whoever, is gonna come up here and spawn some babies. And I'm sorry, I'm a baby killer. Gotta kill the babies. Come on, what are you doing? Oh, snap. And, if you kill them while they're still in egg form, then, it's a good thing. Definitely a good thing. Because now, she drops down, and you can use your sunshot. And sword the crap out of her. I think one time I actually did it like so fast that I could do it in like two times and it was pretty cool because I was just like all right I gotta do this again and then I hit her and she was dead and I was like oh wow that's cool come on spawn me some babies oh snap 
spawning babies. Killing the babies. Absolutely. Alright, cool. Oh my gosh. Alright. Wow, it took me all that time just to hit her one more time. That's what I was saying, like, I think I missed the first hit, like, last time, and so it didn't kill her in two times. But, uh, yeah. So, we have officially rid the parasites, or rid the tree of its evil. And whenever you beat a boss, you get a heart container. whoop de doo Woohoo! You got a heart container. Your maximum life energy is increased by one heart. Your life energy will be totally filled. Cool. So. You go into, like, this crystal thing. I think it has something to do with, like, the other games. 